In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can create a pro forma invoice to send to your customers or to your clients. Now, a pro forma invoice uh, is an invoice, uh, but in the UK particularly, it's a particular type of invoice because it's not what we call a VAT invoice. In other words, uh, in the UK, if you're using the, what they call the standard accounting method, it means that when you raise an invoice, you have to pay VAT on that invoice, uh, even though the customer may not have paid you yet. Uh, with a pro forma invoice, it's kind of like a, a standard invoice, which isn't an official VAT invoice, uh, but it allows you to uh, present it to your customer and your clients. And then when they pay you, at the moment that they pay you, it generates an actual invoice for that transaction. So the benefit is you don't need to pay the VAT until they've actually paid you the money, which for, for a lot of businesses is obviously very important. So um, if we if we take a look at this now, if we click on um, configure, document templates, pro formas, this is where you can select the template that you want to use for the pro forma. There's a, lo there's a number there to select from. You can page through them and you select them by clicking on the gray icon in the select column. You can view uh, the template by clicking on the magnifying glass icon and you can add a new template by clicking on add new template at the top there as well. So let's see how you create a pro forma. If I click on action, pro forma, this takes us to the product selection screen. Uh, you can you select a product there from the product manager or if you're not using the product manager you click on custom item and you can enter the item details there as well. So if we just uh, if we add a product here, let's say 10 bottles of claret. Now as you can see here, the normal price is 9.99. We'll, we're we're going to sell these for 8.99 in this special order, so you can override the price as well. Let's click on the add to cart icon, and so this shows the cart in the usual way. You can select the shipping option here. Uh, we'll just go straight to the checkout on this. If you clicked on continue shopping, it would go back to the to the product selection screen. You could add more products. We just click on checkout. It's remembered my, my test customer details from, from last time. And so if I just uh, scroll down here, you see there's some other options, invoicing options. You can email the proforma invoice to the customer now. Uh, you can include a pay now button on the emailed proforma invoice. And also you can set how long the proforma is valid for. Uh, obviously if they exceed that amount of time, then they won't be able to pay for it and they'd need to speak to you and ask for another pro forma invoice. And you can select to deduct the items purchased from stock now. If you don't do that, then the items will be deducted from stock if you're using stock control uh, when they actually pay for the pro forma. So we click on generate pro forma invoice. So as you can see here, this is the sales manager screen and the top order here is the pro forma we just generated. Uh, you can tell that because it's showing a pro forma icon in the type column there and it's got a red light there as well because we haven't actually paid for this yet. If I scroll across you can print the pro forma by clicking on the pro forma link in the view column. And this will use the template that you selected to print off uh, or to create a version of the pro forma that you can print off. So now if we take a look at what the customers receive, this is the pro forma invoice they've received. Uh, it's this template uh, says uh, Roman Cup demonstration shop pro forma invoice and there's a link on there to pay now. Uh, so if we click on that, it's got the details I entered earlier. If we just pay for that in the normal way, then when they complete the transaction, they can also print off the invoice, which has now been generated, and also a receipt for the transaction as well. If we go back to the sales manager screen, if I just refresh that. Now you can now see there's going to be three documents for this pro forma. There's the pro forma that we originally created at the bottom. Above that there's a receipt. You can see it's got a receipt icon there and it says invoice payment. And then it's got the actual invoice at the top as well, uh, showing a green icon on there as well. Now uh, if we change this, this is showing the all view at the minute in the sales manager. It's better if we change this to just show pro formas. Then it will group together the, the documents. Uh, for that particular pro forma in an easy way so that we can easily see what's going on. So uh, these are the pro formas here. There's only one here. If I click on this uh, green light on the left hand side, you see it's got a little plus icon on it. Then it shows all the documents relating to that pro forma. So we can see here, uh, you can easily see the invoice and the receipt that has been generated. And you can print off the invoice, receipt and pro forma uh, using the links in the view column further along to the right.